terms of Nagpur Smart City, we have uh, prepared a strategic blueprint and it is basically uh, based on four transformation agendas. One is mobility, second is environment, third is infrastructure and fourth is smart governance. This conference covers all aspects of smart cities and it will be beneficial to all participants because various aspects of uh, the latest technologies and the best practices across the globe are being discussed, shared and it will certainly help us implement all those best practices in our cities. In terms of mobility, uh, it will really help us to understand the latest technologies which are available and how ICT based interventions can help us in ease the traffic congestions, even in terms of the kind of vehicles which are being used in other parts of the world, especially in European countries. They are based on the, on the latest technologies, the fuel that is used uh, emits less carbon, so uh, vehicular pollution can be reduced. So this will certainly help us improve mobility in urban areas in India. And there is a proof of concept. So everything that is discussed here is implemented somewhere in the world. All that we need to do is to understand it properly, modify it in Indian context and replicate it. The biggest challenge is to find out the sources of funding. The World Bank is a catalyst. I have already worked on Mumbai Urban Transport Project which was funded by World Bank. So I know World Bank is a catalyst which will really assist India in terms of technical assistance and financial assistance. Intervention by World Bank will really improve or will really give impetus to the economic development of Indian cities.